Good morning, it is Phil to the Brim, and it is Thursday, February 18th, and we are talking about the power of agreement and surrendering our senses. Because to have agreement with the Lord, we have to have our senses surrendered under the power of the Holy Spirit, which the Holy Spirit has been given to us. And we have that ability according to Scripture. Hebrews 5.14, which is the foundational Scripture for the senses, is... But solid food is for the mature who, because of practice, have their senses trained to discern good and evil. So it's a sign of maturity when we are training our senses to discern between good and evil. We have been crucified with Christ. Galatians 2.20, I've quoted that scripture every time. It is no longer us that live, but Christ lives in us. The life I now live in my body, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Romans 12, 1 and 2. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will, so we can be in agreement. So the word goes forth to say, listen, let's train our senses. And today we're going to transition into the sense of sound or listening, our ears, the sense of sound. You know, Scripture just says in Romans that we're to offer our bodies as a living sacrifice and we're not to conform. And it says, be transformed by the renewing of our mind. And many times, our mind is influenced by sound, by listening. What are we listening to? And it's so important that we recognize that we are to listen to the Holy Spirit. Now, in Scripture, as I'm studying this, is that as the Holy Spirit is speaking to me, he is connecting the condition of our heart and the ability or the, our desire to listen to the Holy Spirit. This is what Hebrews says. Hebrews 3, 7 says this. Therefore, just as the Holy Spirit says, today if you hear his voice, today if you hear his voice, goes down and says, do not harden your hearts as when they provoked me. Verse 15, do not harden your hearts. So the voice of God, hearing the voice of God, is connected according to Hebrews chapter 3 with whether our heart has been hardened. So somehow our ear gate is connected to the condition of our heart. You know, it's interesting in Hebrews because when Paul's writing this in chapter 3, he is referring to when Israel hardened their hearts, actually, against Moses. They were angry because of the water, that there was no water, and so they hardened their hearts. And he's referring to Psalms 95. Let me read this to you. Psalms 95, 8, 9. And this is what the psalmist says, referring to that time in the desert. Today, if only you would hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as you did at Meribah, as you did that day at Massa in the wilderness, where your ancestors tested me. They tried me, though they had seen what I did. So they saw the miraculous power of God, and yet their hearts were hardened. Now, what is they're referring to the time when they uh, needed water, and that, and they begin to quarrel with Moses. See, because the, the word Meribah and Massa actually means quarreling. It has to do with testing, a testing time where they quarreled or argued. And when they were arguing with Moses, they were actually arguing with God. See, the fact is this. When we don't want to listen to God, it's a form of our resistance that we are arguing with God. We are quarreling with God. Because to hear has to do, and to listen is connected to agreement. So hearing has to do with the ability to perceive and therefore the ability to have agreement, to hear. Okay, or to listen. So when we argue with God, we don't want to listen to Him. 
Okay, listen to this. When we're arguing with God, really it, it means we don't want to listen to him. And that's our form of disagreement. Not listening to God is our human form of hardening our hearts and being in disagreement with God. So we close our ears and that's a form of disagreement, stepping out of agreement with the Lord. It reveals where our heart is. When we refuse to listen to God, we are revealing that we have a hard heart. You know, some examples of people who did listen to God was Elijah. If you look at Elijah, you know, when there was the desert time and he's, he's praying for uh, rain to come as a sign of the Lord's power and he's on his face before God in 1 Kings 18 41 it says this he the miracle comes in the hearing it doesn't come through his sight it comes through the hearing and Elijah said to Ahab 1 Kings 18 41 go eat and drink for there is a sound of a heavy rain he heard the miraculous in the spirit realm first before he saw it in, his, in the physical realm. Even after Elijah runs off because he's afraid of Jezebel, he still has his ear gate open to the Lord. He still has a soft heart towards the Lord and it's revealed when he is exhausted and tired and out uh, you know, in the cave and the Lord comes to him in the gentle whisper. And Elijah hears the voice of God. And in that gentle whisper, in that time that was hard on Elijah, the Lord comes in that whisper. Elijah responds to the direction of the Lord. You know, David's another person who heard the voice of God. And, and many great victories came to him because he did. Because many times David inquires of the Lord. But there is a time because of his selfishness, because of his sin, because of his arrogance, because of his pride. He closes his ear gate, his listening to the Lord because his heart has become hardened. Remember, David has a heart after God. And so when he sins with Bathsheba, he closes off his ear gate to not hear the voice of God. And finally, the prophet comes to him in 2 Samuel chapter 12. And he says, you know what, David, you are the man that has stolen the lamb from the poor man. And David responds with repentance. His heart becomes soft once again because he listens to the prophet. Listen. The question is, are you listening? Is your heart hardened? It is soft to the Lord? Well, we can tell whether it is by our listening. Let us be in agreement by hearing the voice of God and responding to that voice through our obedience. It's a challenge. God bless you. Pray about this word. More about our ear gate tomorrow.